Good, good day to you all. My name is Paul Edwards, your registered representative with New York Life. I hope you all have had a great week and that you are very, 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 very optimistic and productive. Life gives us many challenges, but I do believe that we have the ability the God-given ability to overcome. Welcome to Inspiration Fridays. As you know, I work with individuals to plan and save effectively for that period of time in your life when you will choose to work no more. We call that retirement planning. And I also work with individuals and business owners to protect themselves, their loved ones, and their businesses with life insurance and long-term care. You can contact me at 321-557-1155. Every Friday, because I believe in work hard and play hard, and I believe that everything we do, we must keep Christ at the center. So on Fridays, I don't really discuss businesses, our business. I speak to inspire you and to encourage you to go on. So the thought I want to leave with you this morning is I am. When I open my mouth and I say I am, I can only be speaking about myself. And when you do open your mouth and say, I am, you can only be speaking about yourself. The question then is, I am what? And so how you answer that reveals your inner thoughts about yourself. It will be surprising to note that many of us because we are bombarded with negativity, because we face so many difficulties in our lives, in the depth of our heart, we think negative about ourselves. A friend of mine, Reginald Crutchley, I remember he asked two young ladies to write 31 positive words about themselves. And he gave them three words to start. He says, I want you to start by saying, I am ingenious, I am creative, and I am wonderful. So as he says, write those three words and then write another three from 31, 28 positive words about yourself, starting with I am. Surprisingly, when they brought back their list, over 20 of the words that they wrote about themselves was negative. They had words like, I am weak. I am, I am, I am poor. Things like that. That tells you the depth of how they felt about themselves and i'm sure many of us have been in that situation our master the great teacher says i am the way the truth and the life i am the resurrection i am the bread of life i am so he spoke clearly what he was and if you noticed all of his self-description was positive. So when we focus on the positive, then, then there is going to be a negative reduction. And it's a challenge for all of us to do that. The good book says, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are true, if there be any praise, anything worthy, think on these things. But how can we do that, one person asks, when we are bombarded by so much negativity? 
It's a challenge. But the great teacher, our Lord, our Master, our God, our Savior, our Heavenly Father, the Lord Jesus Christ, told us that we must meditate on Him because He's the center of positivity. So I'm encouraging you today to rise up first in your spirit, secondly in your mind, because where the mind goes, the body will go, and face the challenges that, that you have on a daily basis. And with Christ in you, in other words, with the spirit of God in you, and you are fully meditated upon the word of God, it will lift your spirit and give you the victory that you see. As we come to the end of the working week, I'm encouraging you to keep focus on things that are positive and reshape over time your self-image of how you see yourself. The master says, do unto others as you'd like to be done unto them. So what is he telling you? That the first thing is self-preservation. And we preserve ourselves when we surrender our all to him. So I'm encouraging you who are hearing me to surrender your all to the Lord Jesus Christ. When you do that, then you, are, then you repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the gift of his Holy Spirit and then grow in grace and knowledge. Continue to have a productive day, have a restful weekend, and I will see you again on Monday with Insurance Mondays.